Okay, everybody, if you ever want to do a disc brake swap on an old car, you can go online and find these guys who sell these brackets. Okay, well, you need, to, you, need to find, you need to find the rotors and the calipers that they tell you to buy. In this case, it's a set of rotors off of a Toyota Previa and calipers off of a Chevy Celebrity. However, if you go to use the factory spindle, you've got to cut the edge down, which I did on a brake lathe. And I machined, I machined this a little bit, but I didn't have to because I'm going to drill out the rotors. One would say, now i got to spend money on a guy at the machine shop to do this process. However, you don't. You take a piece of angle, or it could be a flat stock, it don't matter. Get your center line right. Get your distance of the holes because all the aftermarket Japanese rotors have screws that hold them on the hub. So we're going to use those to locate the center line. Over here is the rotor. Okay. Here's the two holes we're talking about. And that's usually to use a bolt to press them off the hub because they get rusted and locked on. I'm going to use them to locate the center line. So I'll take my bolts. As you can see, go through here, quarter inch drive, quarter inch uh, drill bit. Find your center line. Bolt that on. Okay. Put the two quarter inch nuts and bolts through. And we'll show you how to save a few bucks. Okay, get this snugged up. Obviously, I'm trying to go a little fast here. Okay, snug it. Snug it now. Watch this. Safety glasses on. Three inch hole saw. It's just mild cast iron, so it's, not, it's gonna do its thing. Find your pilot. So here's what I had to do. I used the hole saw to cut out the center line, and that's what's left. As you can see, the beveled edge from the inside, look how much I cut out. I opened it up, did it on the cheek, no machine shop required. Just get yourself a piece of flat stock or angle iron, drill your out center, punch your holes, drill holes, find the center line between the two holes, and that's the center line of your hole that you're using the hole saw with. Cheap way to make the rotors work with what you need. Till the next time, thank you.